हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल एंड चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू यूट्यूब चैनल चंदन फिजेक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एनालिसिस ऑफ पोलराइज्ड लाइफ लेट्स बिगेन हियर वी कैन एनालाइज द पोलराइज लाइट बाय यूजिंग निकल फ्रिजिम द यूजेस ऑफ निकल फ्रिजिम इज दैट that nickel prism is used for analyzer as well as polarizer in that particular session we discuss what be the nature of the polarized light means what type of polarized light we see from that of nickel prism and again by using nickel prism as an analyzer we can detect that uh, nature of the polarized light step 1 <coughs> the incoming beam of light is allowed to pass through a nickel prism which is rotated about the direction of propagation of light as uh, we can say that is the axis then there are uh, three possible scenario consider nickel prism and light is incident on that of nickel prism here nickel prism acted as an analyzer on the rotation that rotation is uh, full rotation to extension in full rotation in that of full rotation rotation we see two extension two extension in the sense two maxima two minima and that uh, minimum intensity is totally zero that is technically called two extension in that of full rotation we see two maxima and two minima means there is the variation in intensity <coughs> one observation next when incident light through that of nickel prism and we rotate that uh, nickel prism under that of full rotation and here we see no variation in intensity in first case there will be variation in intensity what type of vari variation the variation is uh, here we see two maxima and two minima and uh, that uh, minimum is uh, totally zero but in case number 2 there will be no such variation in intensity the variation in intensity is constant no variation in case number 3 nickel prism incident light and we rotate that uh, nickel prism under full rotation here we see two maxima under two minima on that of full rotation means there will be a variation in intensity how that intensity is varies the intensity just uh, two maxima under two minima in that of full rotation but at that of situation there will be a condition for that of intensity in that of minimum intensity not equal to zero in that uh, situation minimum intensity is zero but this situation minimum intensity is not zero so what are these uh, three possible scenarios in first and last there will be variation in intensity in that uh, condition <coughs> no variation in intensity in the variation of intensity under that of full rotation of nickel prism here we obtain two maxima and two minima but minimum intensity is zero at that of situation two maxima and two minima but uh, minimum intensity is not zero so at the output section what are uh, our uh, analysis if we see that type of variation in that of intensity so we can say the nature of that of polarized light is plane polarized plane polarized light under full rotation of uh, that analyzer prism the transmitted uh, light the nature of that of transmitted light we see Uh, has a variation in intensity 
and the variation of intensity like that of 2 maxima and 2 minima under that of full rotation and uh, that uh, minimum uh, intensity is totally 0. Then the nature of that type of incident light is plain polarized light. In case number 2, if there will be no such variation in intensity, the type of uh, nature uh, of that light is circularly polarized circularly polarized or we can say either that one is totally not polarized means unpolarized. If there will be no variation in intensity then we can say either that one is circularly polarized or unpolarized. Another situation variation in intensity uh, again uh, under that full rotation 2 maximum 2 minima, but uh, the minimum intensity not equal to 0. Then the nature of uh, the type of uh, incident light is <coughs> partially plane polarized, partially plane polarized or elliptically polarized elliptically polarized <coughs> the nature of that type of incident light is plane polarized next circularly polarized or unpolarized then partially polarized or elliptically polarized. Next how to distinguish between circularly polarized and unpolarized? Next how to distinguish between partially plane polarized and elliptically polarized? Next step number 2 distinction between circularly polarized and unpolarized. First here three possible situations as the variation in intensity, no variation in intensity, another two variation in intensity, but uh, minimum intensity is 0, here minimum intensity not equal to 0. Then at that of uh, condition we see circularly polarized or unpolarized, here partially plane polarized or elliptically polarized. Then we consider how to detect uh, these two. Step number 2 distinction between circularly polarized and unpolarized. The incident light is allowed to pass through a quarter wavelet normally and then the emergent light is examined through that of rotating nickel. Nickel prism used as an analyzer. So, incident light is passed through that of quarter wavelet. So, we obtain plane polarized light. Again when that plane polarized light is passes through that of nickel prism, that nickel prism acted as uh, uh, an analyzer and uh, we rotate uh, that uh, nickel prism under full rotation. So, here uh, we see no change in intensity. Another situation incident light passes through that of quarter wave plate after that we see plane polarized light and that plane polarized light to, through that of nickel prism which acted upon that of analyzer and rotate that nickel prism under full rotation. Here we see two maxima and uh, two extinctions. Extensions means the intensity, the minimum intensity is totally 0. Uh, so, under that of full rotation, we see 2 maxima and 2 extensions. When we observe no change in intensity, then uh, that uh, situation we call it is unpolarized light, unpolarized. Next, when we see the variation of uh, that uh, intensity uh, as uh, two maxima and uh, two extensions, it is called circularly polarized, circularly polarized in this way we can easily detect in between unpolarized light and circularly polarized light as here we obtain the nature of that type of incident light is either circularly polarized or unpolarized 
and the, that observation distinction between circularly polarized and unpolarized light when incident on that of quarter wave plate and again analyzing it by using nickel freezing then we see if there will be no change in intensity then it will be called as unpolarized. Now, if uh, there will be a change in intensity means two maximum and two extensions, extension means in the minimum intensity is uh, totally 0, then that type of uh, nature of light is circularly polarized light. Next, partially flame polarized and elliptically polarized, how to distinguish these two? <coughs> <coughs> distinction between elliptically polarized and partially flame polarized light. First, the incident beam of light is uh, allowed to pass through a quarter wavelet normally having its optic axis along the principal section of that of analyzer. Analyzer here is the nickel fishing and then the intensity of transmitted light through the rotating nickel is observed. Incident light pass through that of quarter wave plate, after that of uh, quarter wave plate we see plane polarized light and again that uh, plane polarized light is incident uh, through that of nickel freezing whereas nickel freezing acted as uh, an analyzer output means the transmitted light through that of nickel freezing under uh, full rotation we see two maximum and uh, two extensions, two extension in the sense the minimum intensity is totally zero. Then that type of uh, light is uh, called elliptically polarized light, elliptically polarized light. Next, if we see incident light through that of quarter wave plate plane polarized incident through that of nickel freezing under the full rotation we see two maxima and two minima, but uh, intensity not equal to 0. Then that type of uh, nature of incident light is said to be partially plane polarized light, partially plane polarized light. So, the third observation that is uh, what uh, be the distinction between partially plane polarized and elliptically plane polarized we see in that of step number 3 distinction between elliptically polarized and the partial plane polarized light. If uh, there will be a variation in intensity as two maximum and two extensions minimum intensity is totally 0 then uh, the nature of that light is elliptically polarized light and variation of intensity as two maximum and two minima but uh, the intensity of that minima not uh, totally 0, uh, then uh, the nature uh, of that uh, incident light is partially plane polarized light. <coughs> and so, here uh, with the help of this video lecture, we understand the concept of analysis of uh, polarized light by taking nickel prism as an analyzer. Step 1, when incident light is passed through that of nickel prism under that of full rotation of that of nickel prism as we say nickel prism as an analyzer there will be three possible situation that means uh, the variation in intensity and uh, there will be no variation in intensity if that is no variation in intensity then we observe circularly polarized or unpolarized light if there will be variation of intensity then it has the two condition either the minimum intensity is zero or the minimum intensity is not zero if the minimum intensity is 0, then uh, we see the plane polarized light. If the minimum intensity is not 0, then we see partially plane polarized or elliptically polarized. Again, uh, how we distinguish between circularly polarized and uh, unpolarized? So, distinction between circularly and unpolarized light that incident light passed through that of quarter wave plate and again analyzed by using that of nickel freezing. If no change in intensity, then it is called unpolarized light. If there will be a change in intensity as a two maxima and uh, two minima, uh, two extensions in the sense so the minimum intensity is totally zero, then the nature will be circularly polarized. Another situation how to distinguish between partial plane polarized and elliptically polarized. Uh, next one uh, again uh, uh, we analyze it by taking nickel prism as an analyzer incident light through that of quarter wave plate. 
then uh, there will be a variation in intensity to maxima and two extensions. So, the nature will be elliptically polarized light variation to maxima and to minima and that uh, minima not uh, totally 0, then it uh, will be called as a partial train polarized light. Uh, so, here uh, with the help of this uh, visual lecture, uh, we understand uh, all the analysis regarding train polarized light. So, with this useful and informative notes, let me wind up the session. Thank you.